Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I'm feeling green. I'm feeling a little bit green. I'm not a huge green fan, but for some reason, green has been on my mind and, and I've had this color palette and I put it together and I'm like, you know what? I really want to do a floating gloom with this. So I'm, we're doing green today. <laughs> So we're going to do a floating bloom with a green color palette that I have. So let's go check out the color palette and get started. All right, we are going to go over the color palette, the cell activators, and then the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. And I am feeling green today. <laughs> green has never been one of my most favorite colors, but I just had this, this idea for a color palette. So we're going with it. So my first color, I've got uh, this little piggy. It's called Aspen, and that's what it looks like in the container. It is so pretty mixed up. It's, I mean, I can't even describe it. it it's, it's got this greenish iridescence. It almost looks like it has a brownish undertone or like a gold undertone, too. It's just so pretty. But anyway, this is my a Dutch Boy Joe Sonia Pouring Media Mix. And then my next color is I've got uh, Paraj Posse Paint. Uh, Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. That's what it looks like in the container. And this one. It, and the rest of them now are all mixed up with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. And this I actually, I added a bit too much paint. So it, it ended up being a little bit thicker. Which is fine because it's still pretty hot here. So I'm kind of glad it's a little bit on the thicker side. So there's that one. And then my next color is Joe Sonia's Green Light. No shimmer to this one, just a lime green. Again, this is Valspar Varathane, pouring medium. My next color is, I know it's not green, but it is blue-green. <laughs> it's the PBO Studio Acrylics, the iridescent blue-green. I wanted just a little hint of, of like a blue, but it is blue-green. There's green in it, so I'm going, I'm going with it. And, oops, this is getting a little bit gloopy on me, but there's what that looks like. And this is mixed with my Valspar Varathane. And then my last color, I've got Lemon Lime, Sh Lemon Lime Shimmer, which is another Aparage Posse paint. And this has a nice kind of a gold undertone shimmer to it. And it's a little bit different than the uh, the Joe Sonia. This has a little bit more of a yellow undertone, and this one is... A bit greener. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but they are a bit, you know, a couple shades off and I wanted kind of that contrast. So there's that one. Again, Valspar Varathane. I have two cell activators and both of these are mixed with the Australian Floetrol and then the paint I will talk about at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. My one part paint for the white is Atelier Interactive uh, Titanium White. There's that one. And then my gold. If you've watched my videos before, you know I love to mix up a certain gold. I actually use two different paints, so about a half a part each to make up that one part paint. And I like to use Atelier Interactive Pale Gold and then PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. All, uh, all this will be at the end of the video in snapshots and pictures if you want to take a look at the tubes. So you know what I'm talking about, but, and it's also listed uh, in detail in the description box below. Per usual, there's that consistency. Now, my pillow. I have got a full container of my PPG Multi Pro. So that's what we're going to use today. And there's that thickness a little bit thinner than it normally is because like I said it's warm here it, it's it tends to be its true thickness in the winter time because it's thicker <laughs> it's uh, my paints get get a little bit thicker um in the cooler months but we're gonna roll with it so now let's go over the canvas and we'll talk about what we're gonna do today all right for today's piece and that fun green color palette you just saw I've got a 14 inch standard canvas that I've taped up on the back and I would like to do floating bloom with a background I want to do the gold cell activator I know some of you have asked about a silver activator a cell activator and that is coming <laughs> I've got it mixed up and I'm trying to figure out some colors I want to go with it so 
that will be forthcoming but today i want to do the you know how i do the swipes uh, on the back here with the gold cell activator for some nice uh contrast and then we're gonna i want to do a bloom in the center this time hopefully we all know how that's been going lately sometimes it works sometimes it wants to go somewhere else but we're gonna do it in the middle and i want just a nice really pretty green bloom and we're gonna see how those colors interact together so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna get this flooded and we'll get started painting I've got this all flooded and I'm going to use this tool for, and I'll put the uh, gold cell activator on. I will show you <laughs> this time before I start. Like so, just a thin layer. And we're going to start oh, right here. All right, I am liking what's happening here. It's gonna keep developing uh, as I put the uh, green paint on now. So now we're gonna put the, the paint on for the bloom. First color I would like to put on is this, uh, this little piggy, the Aspen. I wanna put that down first. put this Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. And then the green light. And just a little of this blue green. Get some in it. Finally, I've got the lemon lime shimmer. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I originally thought I was gonna do the gold and then the white, but you know what? I think I just want to do the white cell activator since we've kind of got some shimmers in there already and we've got the gold in the background, so we're just gonna go with that. So the white on here and here we go need my straw for the middle actually I want I am really liking the shades this is making. All right. Oops, I'm going to let that collect in a little bit more. Oof. I am really loving all the shades. I can see all of them in there. Not getting a lot of the turk uh the uh the blue green but maybe that'll come out a little bit more as it gets stretched out. I'm gonna, this this is still kind of stuck in the middle. I'm gonna let that come in, but we're gonna play. I'm absolutely digging that. These colors are just gorgeous. I can't wait to see how they uh, stretch out. So I'm gonna meet you over on the spinner floor and we are gonna get this spinned out. 
Oh gosh, look at that green. I'll bring this closer so you can kind of get a good look. Some of my cells are getting weird in the center, but not mad about it at all. I think it's gonna be super duper cool. All right, let's see here. Just slightly. All right, I'm just gonna start spinning and guide it as we go. So here we go. All right, we need another. Yeah, it looks like it's, <laughs> for once, I don't have a side that's actually coming out further, except this guy right here is kind of coming out, but ugh, all these colors are just opening up really nicely. I want to give it another good, uh, healthy spin before I guide it a little. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I forgot to put a little... little tail on all these little petals. There we go. That's something anyways. All right, you know what? I actually need just a little and another spin. Ooh, this is opening up so nicely. My little wonky cells are kind of opening up really nicely too. <laughs> I'm seeing all the green, but I'm not really that that uh, that blue green. My favorite PBO, which is okay. I still got a little bit of white that I'd like to get off on this side, but it's opening up rather even. So I'm just gonna keep spinning. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Huh. Who knew I would like green so much? <laughs> oh, have I made a believer out of any of you non-green lovers out there? I'm not a huge fan of green and I am loving this. All right. Now, you know what? It's still pretty even. Let me just bring it down just a little right there. I've got just a little bit more white to get off, so I'm going to do another healthy spin, and hopefully it'll open this up a little bit more. Mmm. just about there. All right, I want one more kind of baby, baby to moderate spin. Gosh, this is so pretty. I love that gold in the back too. It just sets it off really nicely. And that aspen when it dries in the middle, even though, even though the cells are getting a little bit crazy, I might take my skewer in there a little bit more and make a couple designs. But uh, that pigment when it dries, it's so pretty. I think we're just about there. Let me just check the paint movement. Yeah, I've got some movement in the in the middle there still. Not much I can do about it. Let's just give it one more little baby spin. Gorgeous. I can see that blue in this petal just a little bit. Ooh yeah. Ooh, I like it just like that too. 
that's really pretty. All right, this is a winner winner chicken dinner. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring it over for the flyover of this guy. I am totally loving this green. <laughs> I didn't know how much I'd like green until I did this piece. It is just so cool. And I'm I'm seeing a little bit of that uh, that blue green that, that was hiding, but I love how the background is gonna shimmer against all this green here. And right there, you can kind of see that, that blue, that PBO blue green kind of got lost in there, but that's okay. This was a green piece after all. So my cells are kind of getting a little wiggly I put a couple of little uh, swirlies in there, but I think the rest are gonna be just fine. I, I'm really loving how the Aspen is gonna dry and I am okay with the middle being a little bit weird. I love all these little swirlies. They came out, they stretched out really nicely too, but all the shimmers in this piece, I am so excited to see uh, how it ends up drying. And I changed my mind on the orientation. <laughs> As you saw it on the spinner, I kind of moved it this way because I kind of liked the orientation of the background going vertically instead of horizontally. But we'll check that all out when it dries. So I'll be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. This just dried so super nice. Uh, wait till I show you the shimmers and the middle. Oh, that Aspen shimmer city. I wish I could bring you outside, but it's a bit overcast today. So I'll bring you under the light, but uh, let's dive in and see just what detail I love this background and how it just kind of came out and I did get a little bit of that uh the blue green I was wondering where it was and it showed up in that petal right there see I did have a little bit of wonkiness there because my uh my uh, some of the paints were a bit thin the cell activator may have been a bit thin too like I said it's still hot here and so sometimes it just shifts around. So if you ever see something like that in your pieces, it's probably because things are a little bit thin and they're just gonna shift around on you. And I don't mind because the shimmer is just off the hook. I love that spiral right there, how it just kind of takes all the different layers of colors. So super pretty. And I like that these little tendrils that came out, they do have a little bit of that blue green in there, but this is definitely a green, green piece. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Let's go check out the shimmers and then we'll check out some orientations. Yeah, see that right there? That's the Aspen. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I love this this gold. I, I am absolutely loving the background when I use the gold cell activator. Totally gonna try the silver too that's coming up soon. Maybe not the next video, but it's coming soon. You do get a little bit of that blue green as well in there. So super pretty. I see a little bit of that uh, that lime green with the gold undertone too. I'm kind of seeing all of it. Ooh, right there I get that blue with the green. This is so, so pretty. So pretty. All right, let's go check out some orientations. Ooh, I like that. I think this is how I originally had it on the spinner with the uh, background being horizontally. That's a really, I like that position as well. This one's nice too. Let's check out the third. There's not a bad orientation, I don't think. <laughs> I think my favorite is still the first. Let's check out one on the diagonal. Oh, I like it on the diagonal even too. So cool. All right, I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts. Yeah, I think this one is still my favorite. This was the first orientation, but let me know what uh, your favorite orientation was or did you like it on the diagonal? This can probably go eight different ways. I love I love when that happens. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this piece. Uh, what'd you think of the color palette? Green, yes, no? Are you a green fan? Did I make you a green fan? <laughs> I'm kind of becoming a green fan now, but you know, I won't use it all the time. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.